Yeah, this was a talk where I started to summarize the evidence for the involvement of the immune system uh, and also the disturbance of the immune system uh, in uh, patients with MDS. And what we know is that um, there is a mix out of inflammation, but also autoimmunity um, and um, pathways of the innate immunity, for instance, are sometimes also hijacked by myelin progenitor cells. So we have evidence that, for instance, that pyroptosis and the inflammasome is activated in low-risk MDS patients, whereas in high-risk MDS patients, there's an expansion of uh, regulatory T cells, but also MDSCs. Um, we know that uh, also drugs which modulate uh, the immune system like ATG, but also Campeth and others can significantly improve the ineffective hematopoiesis in, especially in low risk MDS patients, sometimes very long lasting, maybe cure even, but this is only evident in a small proportion uh, of patients. Um, so what I did then is to highlight uh, the recent advances and a better understanding of the pathophysiology um, of um, patients, especially with lower risk MDS, where, for instance, the IREC pathway has been shown to be upregulated also in specific uh, spliceosome subsets. Last but not least, I try to touch base also on the modulation of uh, checkpoint uh, molecules in T and K cells, but, but also on hematopoietic progenitor cells and their potential targeting with antibodies. Uh, I highlighted, I tried to highlight, un unfortunately, also some recent failures with novel agents like sabatolimab, macrolimab, and, and others. And uh, last but not least, uh, introduced also the uh, CAR T cell uh, concept uh, as a potential curative option for patients with MDS. Um, so the summary of the presentation was that we have clear evidence that the immune system is altered in uh, MDS. Um, and whether it's culprit or bystander, whether targeting of these kind of uh, abnormalities may also alleviate symptoms and improve hematopoiesis uh, has still to be shown, but there are a lot of clinical trials running and the, we hope that these will contribute to the better understanding of the involvement of the immune system.